The transverse and longitudinal waves that we have been discussing are called periodic waves because they consist of cycles or patterns that are produced over and over again by the source. The repetitive patterns occur as a result of the simple harmonic motion of the left end of the spring, so that every segment of the spring vibrates in simple harmonic motion. Sections 10.1 and 10.2 discuss the simple harmonic motion of an object on a spring and introduce the concepts of cycle, amplitude, period, and frequency. This same terminology is used to describe periodic waves, such as sound waves, which are discussed later in this chapter, and electromagnetic waves such as visible light. Here we show a transverse wave on a spring to review some terminology. Suppose we identify some starting point on the wave. Here we have chosen a point where it crosses the horizontal axis, but you could start anywhere on the wave. We now find a second point, after which the wave will start to repeat itself. The part of the wave that occurs between these points is a full cycle. A periodic wave is a series of many cycles. The plot shows the vertical position of the spring plotted on the vertical axis, and the distance along the length of the spring plotted along the horizontal axis. Such a graph is equivalent to a snapshot of the wave taken at one instant in time, and shows the disturbance that exists at each point along the spring's length. As marked on this graph, the amplitude A is the maximum displacement of a particle of the medium, in this case a part of the string, from its undisturbed position. The amplitude is the distance between a crest, or highest point on the wave pattern, and the undisturbed position. It is also the distance between a trough, or the lowest point on the wave pattern, and the undisturbed position. The wavelength lambda is the horizontal length of one cycle of the wave. The wavelength is also the horizontal distance between two successive crests, two successive troughs, or any two successive equivalent points on the wave. Next is a graph in which time, rather than distance, is plotted on the horizontal axis. This graph is obtained by observing a single point on the spring. As the wave passes, the point under observation oscillates up and down in simple harmonic motion. As indicated on the graph, the period t is the time required for one complete up and down cycle, such as it is for an object vibrating on a spring. The period t is related to the frequency f, just as it is for any example of simple harmonic motion. The frequency equals 1 divided by the period. The period is commonly measured in seconds, and frequency is measured in cycles per second, or hertz. A simple relation exists between the period, the wavelength, and the speed of any periodic wave. Imagine waiting at a railroad crossing while a freight train passes. The train consists of a long line of identical boxcars that move with a constant speed v. If we place a marker in the path of the train, we can sense the frequency at which the cars pass. Another train, this one with shorter cars, now runs parallel to the first train, also at a constant speed. It seems that the one with the shorter cars has the higher frequency. Which train had the larger speed? To answer this, we repeat the runs, but now with the two trains side by side. We see that their speeds were equal. Although the frequency of the train with the shorter cars was larger, its cars were shorter. The other train had longer cars but a smaller frequency. In this exercise, the trains have qualities associated with periodic waves. We have already identified the frequency, and now add that the length of the cars on the given train serves as the wavelength. The speed of the train is therefore given by the frequency at which the cars pass a given point, multiplied by the length of each car. In other words, the speed equals the frequency times the wavelength, or v equals f times lambda. Earlier, we had f is equal to 1 divided by the period, so v equals lambda divided by t. This logic and terminology applies to waves in general, and the speed of a wave is given by v equals f times lambda.